I just, I just couldn't let it go. You know, I just couldn't let it end on such a high and good notes. Of course I had to come back and put it through one final test. I had to go big or go home. Except my home might, <laughs> at the end of this, be just a pile of rubble. G'day guys, my name's Josh. Yo, can call me Ja Woodle and welcome back to 7 Days to Die in Alpha 19 where we're back unexpectedly so in the Eclipse series. We've just finished off, all. Well, you guys have just finished off the day 70, the finale to that series where we absolutely kicked the dick out of that horde. They sent everything at us and we just battered them aside down into the little explosive hole down below to tear them limb from limb. So we got through that way too too well so i was kind of thinking if we face down the day 70 horde that well on max difficulty with insane zombies nightmare speeds and what was it like uh triple zombie horde sizes as well then why don't we just see how far this base can go it's one of my all-time favorite bases that i've built in alpha 19 or really ever i suppose like yes the killing corridor is kind of invulnerable assuming you build it right but this base has all the different elements working together i just couldn't leave it i just couldn't leave it behind I couldn't say what's done is done without sending a max, like, max zombie, 64 zombie hordes, insane nightmare, max game stage as well. I couldn't let it go without trying my best to try and break it. So what I've done, after the end of day 70, I spent a week just digging up materials and getting everything that I needed, which is surprisingly easy. We're not going raiding all the time. Shock horror, I know. So I went and spent a week just gathering materials and doing a little bit of digging here and there. And then I spent some time just murdering zombies to try and get to max game stage. So we're now level 300. We have 15,000 zombie kills. We've done some rebuilding on the horde base. I'll show you in a second. But this is about as hard as the game is ever going to be. It is day 7,000. We're about to get real messy. Despite all the hard work I've already done, there is yet more to be done as well. Uh, drop all the way down to there. Do have the $20,000 reduce me so I don't break my ankles. I might have to come back and do some rejiggering of this point as well. Maybe just upgrade those hatches there with some iron if I get the time. But there's still some jobs yet to be done. So real quick, I'll show you what the upgrades have been. First and foremost... Everything in there is now nice and steel. And I painted this red as well to make it look even better. I've got some doors just on either side of my little bunker in there to... If the, oh, my, left my door open. That's bloody rookie hour. So if the zombies do break through here, there's another line of the fence to fall back to. Give myself some time and space to figure out what the hell I'm going to do next. But more importantly, I took my auger because I found all those tier 6 augers. And I dug this pit even deeper than what it was before. So originally, it was only like maybe three blocks deep, I think it was, off the top of my head. I've now gone, I think it's six blocks deep now. So I've doubled the depth. So that when zombies do like their zombie tower of Django kind of thing that they do, they can't jump out the top and they can't do quite as much damage. Not only is it deeper, it's also two block thick steel all the way around the outside. That was just something I had to do off camera because of course you got to go to reinforce concrete, then to steel as well, which is just tedious and annoying. So that is done and dusted down there. The doors that go over the top are still there and waiting, but there's still a lot of work I have to do. By the way, before I get too far away from it, if this is the first video of Eclipse that you are, you are seeing, because it's day 7,000, to build this whole base, there is a whole series before this. So I highly suggest going and seeing me build it all from scratch originally. Um, what else was there? What else was going to do? Oh, yeah. And to turn it to day 7,000 uh, 7, as well, I got through to like... It was like day 80 or something, and then just skipped ahead to day 7,000. So I haven't sat here and waited out all 7,000 hours not going to do that. It's just not, I don't have enough time in my life to sit here for 13 years or whatever it is. So we skipped ahead, but that doesn't mean the zombie hordes are going to be any less than maximum. The first thing that I wanted to do, just quickly bonk on through here. Uh, where did I leave? There we go. Actually, no, I don't need those right now. I need the switches. Do I have the materials down here to make signs? No, I don't. Okay, well, I'll put a switch just there because I have my dart traps down the other end over there. Oh, I don't have the... I don't have the arrow slots in front of it. Okay, that's another thing I have to do. Do I have you and you? I'll take the nail gun with me as well, which will be just in there. Do some upgrading when I get out there. Can I even make arrow slots out of rebar frame? I don't think I can, can I? Uh, no, I can't. Well, that's really bloody annoying. Let's go concrete block. Real quick, I have to duck back upstairs. Make myself like 
So, uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 concrete blocks just to cover up my dart traps down there. But I want to get a second switch on them. So I can turn on, like, the top ones for the first half of the horde. Then if the darts run out, I can flip over to the bottom uh, set of dart traps as well and get those running. So I'll just leave you there, put you back into this one, and quickly run upstairs and myself some more concrete blocks. I'm annoyed. I thought I had those covered already. I completely gapped it, which, shock horror, I forgot something imperative to my survival. When does that ever happen? What do I need again? I needed 12. So let's go 1, 2, 3, 4. Yep, make you there. 1, 2, 3, 4. Make you there. And 1, 2, 3, 4. Make you there as well. Take all the cement. Got heaps of materials left over, and everything is still burning away nicely, doing their lovely job of making myself more resources. But if I have those, I can turn those into the arrow slot. This is what annoys me about the rebar frame blocks, is that they don't have the, like all the options available. They have to go to the concrete blocks, then reinforce them later on. But I'm doing this early enough. I might get lucky and have enough time to sort it out. I'm not quite sure. But if I don't, at least some concrete in the way will be a good thing for me. Grab you, grab you, and grab you. Okay, nice. I've got way too much concrete on me now so just like have those ones back please i'll just take those let's get back downstairs if i get that poured nice and early they might dry in time and i might be able to go and reinforce them again let's real quick build a little um oh god he jumps so high i've maxed out all my perks below because i am max level one so, all right, she's down and she called in any friends. I think we're good. Because I'm max level now, I have gone and bought all the perks. Got skill points left over as well, but max level with all my kills and all sorts of other whatnots going on. So now you really do to kind of hop through the ceiling when you are using max level parkour. Right, okay. So because the dart traps fire out of that center hole there, you can kind of interlace arrow slots over the front and get them to... um. Well, I'll just work a bit, see, like, just like that. See how, like, the middle hole is still poking out through the middle of the arrow slot? So you can go like that, all the way around there. And then what I want to do is just kind of get the same thing again on that front side, like that. So then there's, like, it's covered from the top, the bottom, and both the sides. So if I'm shooting through zombies from over there, I'm not damaging my own dart traps at the back over here. I have no idea if that's going to dry in time, but three layers of concrete should be enough by itself, whether it's reinforced or not. Even though my guns now are just as good at destroying buildings as they are at zombies, that's going to just have to do... That should be fine. So all the darts are still passed through the middle. Yeah, nah, that will be sweet. Right, okay. What's the next... Oh, I need to do the wiring, though. Now that I've got the protection, now... Don't have any of the stuff. I'm going to have to get back into my little horde bunker over here and get all the guns back out of it. Jump to there and up to the top. Oh, I don't think I mentioned it as well. Uh, I did uh, increase, clearly, the wall all the way out to the end over here. Uh, just to stop. So if I'm in my bunker over there and some cops show up, they're running up the stairs. They have to get, because they only stop to vomit when they can see you. So I guess I'm right in the corner. They can kind of see me from there. But they should have to get all the way up to here before they'll stop and try and like, doz up their kebab. So it should be all right on that front too. Let's uh, quickly just bang inside. We'll get a lot of wiring stuff and we'll rewire the dart trap separately. I just, oh, I've got to do everything, though. I've got to get the relays as well. Got the relays down here. Switches, you're done. Um, There's a wiring tool. Relays, good. Okay, so I can do it. I'm going to put some extra stuff down. Just kind of going to get it to match the same on the other side. Let's quickly build my way back up again so that I can real quick see the switch on the bottom. Nice. So you... Go to that one. There we go. Then I can run like the power lines just like I did before all the way out to the darts on the other side. Already did it on one side. I can do it on the other. Let's just start uh, wire you though. Jeez, I hate all these wires. I hate the wires so bloody much. Okay, so all those... Everything is now wired up. Let's make sure it still works. Turn you on. Doors. Doors. There we go. That opens... The, or closes them rather. And then that one will open them nice and quick. Nice. Okay, I'm really, I really like those drawbridges down. It's such a nice little addition. So I do run out of explosives, which I don't think I should. I've loaded up on lots of them. If I do run out of explosives, I have a secondary uh, method to stop them going down there and kill them the old-fashioned way. The day 7000 has turned red, but that's okay. I'm going to put you there and you there and just kind of get rid of you. You were good to start with. I don't really need you anymore. The problem is, though, I got rid of these light towers out uh, just out here. I broke one of them down completely and left you there as, like, a power pole. And now I kind of wish it was still around for me to use on the other side and get all my nice symmetricality still happening. It might be a bit beyond me. Or maybe... I mean, it's not going to look exactly the same, but I've got concrete and some rebar frames to spare. Can I go, like... 
Copy rotation. Can I copy shape at all? Oh, I can just go like that, actually. All right, fair enough. You line up on the inside of that dirt track. So, like, there. And then can I get, like, the smalls? Like, pillar of 50s, I think they are. No? Damn it. What about in you? Can I get pillar of 50s out of you? Pillar of 50s. Yes, there we go. There we go. Okay, so I can, I can remake my bloody power pole. Just not quite exactly how it once was. Gonna need some more supplies to upgrade all those, but that's okay. Let's just go you to there. Nice. Good. All right, where's the other one gonna go? Just on the inside of that. There we go. Now, I should be able to run that all the way across. Swap you over for my wiring tool again. From that one to that one. Nice. That one through to that one. No, it doesn't quite stick on, but who cares about physics? We're playing Seven Days to Die, which clearly does not give two tosses about physics. This is. Um, where are you? Come on. I know you're over there somewhere. What level are you on? That one is still black. Never mind. As long as that cable is black, I can run the electricity easy peasy. That one there to... Oh, come on. You're just out of reach. Damn it. Come on. Easy. Just go as far as you can until the cable turns red. There it is. So right on the black. I can just see it. Nice. That's wired up that way. Just wire up this side as well. All the power. Let's just excuse the hodgepodge that's in some little bunker and just pretend like I've done a decent job. Why are you to them? Good. Okay. So from here, you can just be... Oh, wait. I want one on each side. So this is the top switch. The top switch should relate to top dart traps, I think. You to you. Nice. And this side, go to the bottom one. So they can now run independently. So as soon as I see the darts stop firing for one of them, I can flip those switches and continue the darts going down. The darts are super important because not only do they do penetration damage on armored zombies, they also stagger zombies as well, which when you're dealing with demos, rad cops and all sorts of bad times. Oh, I can just jump all the way up to there now. I don't even need that bloody frame anymore. When you're dealing with all those kinds of monstrosities, you're definitely going to need it. I needed some wood. I needed some forged iron to do the hatches down the bottom as well. I'll grab you to real quick make myself a sign just to label the other dart uh, switch. You can go back away now. So you to upgrade the beams outside, which means I also probably need some cobble. Been a very long time since I used any cobble. That's going to be a blast in the past. Uh, is there anything else that I need down there? I don't especially think so. I think that's basically just about it. Oh, actually, while I'm here, let's grab... No, not in that box. Let's grab another two of you. That's one too many. Let's go two of you. Thank you. And grab one, two, three, four, five, six stacks of 300. Because you can max out uh, three stacks in each turret. Because I've only still got those two turrets up on my roof. And having some extras probably isn't a bad idea. Nothing else I need in there. No point crafting more ammo. I've got a whole box with downstairs. I have the means to do it if I so desire. But it's kind of just... <laughs> it's really just pouring a bucket of water into the ocean at this point. All right, let's get down the bottom again. Yes, still got the money. That's good. Right, now real quick. That's the wrong kind of iron. I hate myself sometimes. I really bloody hate myself sometimes. All right, fair enough. Then I'll go get the other iron in the second. I'll take all that wood back upstairs. You'd think I'd have figured it out by now. I've been playing around in this game for so bloody wrong. You'd think I'd know which block takes which kind of thing. Upgrade you all the way to concrete. Man, I'm annoyed at myself now. That's rookie hour. I think the best spot for the Taurus is probably going to be like there and like there. I'm going to point them back in towards the middle because just like with these ones, I want to have that crossfire action going. Now that they are there though, I do have to... I suppose I'm going to just go like from you to you. I don't have to worry about like wiring it all up like all sneaky deaky like and not daisy chain them. These ones barely take... Have you ever been hit once? A little bit. In all the hordes you've been here, you've taken eight and nine damage, respectively. Clearly not too much of an issue. One, two, three. Need to turn on the power before I can get you rocking and rolling for me, but I'll put the ammos in just in case. Can I access you? There we go. One, two, three. Nice. Okay, I'll go back inside. I'll put that sign down, turn on the power, and get you guys overlaying in a cross-field fire as well. It's got darts top because it's the top switch. Makes it nice and easy for me to know. Darts bottom. There we go. Nice. Okay. I'm going to turn them on now because I don't want to waste the ammo down it. Although, it looks like the cog is starting to dry as well. It's probably worthwhile me just double checking, right? They're both off at the moment. So, darts top. Yep, that works fine. Darts bottom. <clears throat> Excuse me. Darts bottom. There is a break in the chain somewhere. Thank God I tested them. 
I wasn't going to test them, but thank God that I did turn off the switches first, actually. Uh, we'll go upstairs. We'll make sure we aim for the turrets. Then I have to go and figure out where the break in that chain is. I need those darts running. It's kind of hard to see because the sexy ass murder shrub is standing right in front of him, but I don't want the turret to be able to see down into there. I don't want the turret just firing willy nilly at anything that comes its way. So let's go like that. There we go. So it's kind of aimed above that whole corridor. Let's get the same with you. It's kind of dark, but it's all right. No, that was actually silly. A bit more out to the left. Just there. There we go. So any birds, any birds at all that take to the size, my AA turrets here will take them down for me. Let's get back out. Just still got the concrete. I might even grab, now that I've fired a couple of darts, I might even grab a couple more just to refill it. Never know. Oh, jeez, I'm a little bit hurt on these ones too. Upgrade you. Make sure you guys are nice and repaired. Jeez, things are taking a beating I didn't even notice. Yeah, all those concrete blocks are now done. So it's real quick because it is, oh, it's midday. We know the rule. If you get your concrete pulled before midday, it should set before the horde shows up. So... You guys first. Come on, everyone get done. Everyone get reinforced, please. Why can't I now going to reach the top ones? You're so close to it. You're basically tickling their ivories. You're right inside them. That one, that one, that one. There we go. Just need the little, just another couple of inches. Like every other aspect of my life, another couple of inches would be bonza. I don't understand why they're not working. Um, That's the top one. I know that. So this one's the bottom one. You to that one. You to that one. One, there we go. I'm gonna rewire these just in case. How wait. Let's just cancel them all. Cancel everything. Get rid of all the wires. There we go. Let's do this again. That's the original, which is the top. You to that one. Yep, that's running. Which was an easy way for me to tell that was actually running into the right block. These ones go bottom. I'm just double checking all my wiring. I'm double checking the working out. Doesn't matter if I get the right answer in the end. Have to make sure that I understand why it's doing what it's doing. Nice. Okay, so somewhere along here, the trail goes... Oh, wait. Did I... I th guys, guys, I think I figured it out. I didn't go from you to you. That's kind of an important part of the chain, Josh. I didn't reload the dart traps yet, but that's okay. Let's go. You're still on. So I'm going to turn on you, actually, just to refuel that power just in case. Oh, that sounded weird. Did everything just kind of close? Or oh, just free to go to chain my power source? Okay, that's fine. So dart's top. On. Working just fine. Bottom, working just fine. It's also important to mention, if you missed the other couple of episodes, I've done the math to figure out exactly how far those dart traps shoot. So even though I'm standing directly in front of it, I am one block too far away for the darts to actually hurt me. Um, I might just leave you on for a second to recharge that tier 6 battery in there. Let's go reload those dart traps and figure out what else I can do to make this a little bit better. Even though it's day 7,000, there's still work to be done. All the dart traps have been fully reloaded. So they've got everything they need in there. Let's just upgrade you. Although, you know what? Maybe I could go. I've got plenty of steel. I've got so much bloody steel. I mean, a lot of my time was spent digging out all the steel that was in that uh, that trench and then re-digging the, the thing to go around it. That was a bit awkward to do, but that's all right. Quicker just knock you out as well. Yeah, I spent a whole lot of time just digging that trench deeper and deeper and deeper and then breaking all the blocks in there originally. I had to like carve out around the outside, which was kind of handy. I wanted to double layer everything, but it was kind of like, like what I did originally where I dug out the bitumen, I dug out my buckets and made it deeper again. The then just went and mined all the resources that I could. You can be upgraded again. Boop, just like that. I might go get some steel. I have plenty of it. Upgrade the tower over there. And then probably also upgrade these little wings along here. Like, oh, I need to put down the extra electric fences as well. Jeez, Josh, you really... How are you so bloody forgetful? There are four things you needed to do today. And you forgot half of them. Let's do the electric fences first, because that's actually more important than the rest of it. Everything else is just kind of upgrades and just kind of future-proofing or shoring up uh, what I do have. But I'd rather spend the time making sure I'm going through and putting the electric fences down, because they are actually going to be imperative to my survival. Now, the reason that I increased the length of this whole wall here was purely to run extra electric fences along here. Let's just go like this. All the way along is going to get electrofensified. Sure, that works. Um, all the way along. So at every step of the way, and also in case we miss the other one as well, I'm not going to daisy chain all the electric fences. That's a bad idea. So I'm getting to all run independently. Then regardless if a cop explodes in there or a demo goes down, as long as some electric fences survive, there will still be some little shock value in there. I do like that the wire tool just has so much reach on everything. So I don't need to worry about the fact that I can't really... Well, it's kind of awkward to reach runs on the other side because the wire tool can do it with no real sweat. Um, how did I run it last time? They've all been destroyed since. I can't remember where I ran it from. 
Was it just that one there? I'm pretty sure it was. So grab you onto that one. Nice. Let's kind of repeat this a billion times. Yes, I know there's a single point of failure on that relay up there, but it's inside, damn it, it's in, inside protected from everything. So it should hopefully work out well in the long run. I just want to test. Good. Okay. It can reach the very furthest one. I was starting to realize as I was kind of creeping further and further out the door that maybe I was going to get to the point where I couldn't actually run all those electric fences off the one little uh, diode over there. But turns out I can reach all the way down. The infinitely stretchable electric cables are actually doing me a solid for a change rather than just getting in my way and ruining the bloody skyline. Damn it. I hate it when it does that. It's kind of glitches out if you miss that click. Aim right for it. There you go. Only a couple more to go. Then it's just upgrading time. It's already almost three o'clock too. Jeez, that went quick. You know what? I normally hate the wires in this game as I was bitching about like three seconds ago. Me bitch about something? No, never. But this one actually looks kind of okay. The fan of all the electric fences looks kind of nice. The parallel running electric cables across here looks kind of nice as well. So I'm actually kind of okay with how this is all turned out. Um, what's, what do I, oh wait. Oh, <laughs> Josh, maybe actually run the electric fences now too. You've done all the hard work. Now you just got to run from side to side and actually get the cables going. Man, you would have been an absolute pelican if you forgot that, you flapping galah. Just wire up the last one. Although, a part of me does kind of wish that maybe I didn't... Oh, get a bit closer. There you go. That I didn't run the electric fences all the way to the end. I know I could undo that right now, but for the sake of everything being in a nice little pattern, I like having everything done there. Oh, actually, no. You know what? Nah, I'm going to get rid of that last one. That last one right on the very end is kind of like, it's before, it's before they actually get to the trench here. And the whole point of the trench is for them to fall down below. I could just pick these up, but I've got some spare, so it's okay. So I'm starting like all like electrified just there. They might still fall down. They won't fall into the bomb basement, but that's all right. We'll go up like that. We'll make sure the power is off so I don't electrify myself next time I run through there. Is there anything else really important for me to do? I don't think so. You're still charging. You're now full, so I can turn off that. I can turn off that. Didn't check the fences to see if they were on or off to start with. I think they were on. Thank God I didn't walk through it. Might have double checked it, actually. On. They were definitely on. Thank God. All that's really left for me to do is just do the spattering of upgrades that I need to do. They're all good out there. Yeah, now, nah, see, look. You can kind of see now, you can barely even see that little black square in the middle. That's the only way if I hit that one little nipple, just like on a demo, that's the only way that I'm going to do damage to the dart traps down there. So having that extra little like reinforcement in front of it, definitely a good call. I do know I could definitely have made it prettier by having maybe like a floor or something underneath it. In fact, you know what? Let's do it. Let's do it. They're not going to set in time, but I kind of want it to make, actually look like it makes sense inside the world. I've got some time on my sleeve, so may as well invest some time in aesthetics because aesthetics always matter. Uh, let's grab you. Let's run outside as quick as we do that. Then I can run back upstairs, drop off some stuff, and uh, grab myself the just the random scrap iron that I need to upgrade the hatches inside. And then I think we're good to go. I'm actually going to let my um my artistic juices flow just that little bit. I'll go you guys. I'm going to put a solid block up the middle. Go the same on the bottom as well. Couldn't do the both of them from down here. In fact, I might even go... Oh, that looks kind of ugly. So let's quickly grab some of you guys and stick you onto there as well. Nice. I'm going to put some um half blocks on the front here i think just grab those ones stick them onto the front there i might even go up to the very top as well and uh do the same kind of plate system up the top too so it's all kind of nice and compacted because you wouldn't have it just sitting out like that you'd have some sort of like casing around it to protect everything you know i can see the comments now been like standard woodle fighting a day seven thousand horde and worrying about the aesthetics of his kill box but you know what that's the little things about it. that's the thing that separates you from the other survivors if you take pride in the shit you build, then it will work out better for you in the end. Because after all, you know, if you can get a, a zombie to stop and gawk at your wonderful creation, it's going to work out better for you in the long run. I just realized that I've definitely as well built myself what is effectively a dart trap suppressor. Like the inside of a suppressor, that's I got like baffles just like that. Didn't really mean to, but it turns out that's what I've built. Just do this side as well, all along there. How does that look? Hopefully that looks like it kind of makes sense. Oh, I've, um, I can't do it because like that block takes up the whole block underneath. But if I have my time again, I wouldn't put those ones in. In fact, how strong are you? Can I... Oh, I can probably get rid of you. I just put you down, but now I want to get rid of you again. I'm going to put some ramp blocks in there instead to kind of like look like it's actually bracing and holding it up. It just looks like that. It's just like a... I don't know what it looks like. It looks really weird though. 
Those blocks are gone, so just there and there and there. Annoyingly, like, because the plates do actually have a thickness to them, it's like cardboard compared to paper, they don't just, like, stick on nice and flushly. But, like, from a distance, you can't really tell. Yeah, nah, nice. Probably gonna put some of those. Maybe I should put those plates over the top of the um, the top of the dart traps as well. In fact, I might just quickly build my way back up there and quickly do that. But as is, I think that's pretty bloody glorious. Just gonna grab like all that steel and all that iron as well. I can just like leave the rest of the stuff down there. I've got plenty of storage. That's not really the problem for me. I might take. Uh, uh, I'll take the ammo. I'll just find somewhere to stash it. I suppose all my explosives are already down there. Um, yeah, nah, that should be fine. That should be fine. It's now six o'clock, so I'm trying not to do too much. I might just quickly bang on back down, upgrade these hatches. So the plan's gonna be, that's why I wanna upgrade these ones. The plan is that if I, I have like my points, my main point, oh God, everything just turned red too. My main point of defense right here with Sammy the Sledge here to bonk him down if they do make it too far up here. The red zone is the red zone. That's where I have to kind of make my stand, repair the blocks, just like, Wait, I saw one. There you go. Repair you two. Anything else? No, nah, we're good. So I can sit here and defend for as long as possible. But if they break through here, I run this way. I close the door behind me. And that's really just there for me to get up here and kind of take stock of just how cooked I am. How much ammo I probably don't have left on me. I can kind of fight him here for a little bit before running back this way. Closing that. And opening these. Although... In fact, if I open those, it'll break their pathing and they may not try to get to me anymore. That might be the real Hail Mary. If they break through this one, I open those and just pray I can defend wherever they decide to break through next. That's kind of how the system works in my head. But really, the be all and end all is the red room down here. So I've got all the steel on me. So I'm just going to go around and make all of this as steely as I can. Just to kind of keep it as secure as possible. I don't want any of this going awry because the cop comes through and explodes. And like some of the electric fence posts will get destroyed overnight. I'm aware of that. I'm anticipating that. That's why I have so bloody many of them. But if the walls stay intact, they have their best shot of making it through. Oh, fuck. Oh, oh man, that made me jump. That made me absolutely jump half out of my skin. Hit you once, hit you twice. You're dead. Yes, you are. You've lost an arm. I don't think you called anyone, Jesus Christ. What, I completely forgot the screamers were a thing there for a second. I was just running around willy-nilly upgrading everything that I could. Just making all of these steel as well, because the last thing I need is my dart trap system to come tumbling down on a zombie head. Upgrade you and you as well. Nice, they're as strong as they're going to be. I do miss stainless steel. I miss it quite a lot. So I'll upgrade that one and that one just in case. So nothing here... Nothing here at all should fall down at any point, I don't think. Oh, I hate it when some random blocks are in different orientations. That's why I've painted half this world to look proper. That's right, upgrade this side as well. Oh, I see that. How did I not see that before? Uh, hmm, maybe I should upgrade the stairs to be steel as well. That's probably overkill. The stairs take very little damage. Oh, I'm just starting to get nervous now. Like, I even though this isn't part of, like, the actual, like, canon series. So this is kind of, like, an extra over and above thing to see just how good this base is. Oh, man. I just wanted to succeed. No, it's my baby. It's been so good to me. I want it to do well. I think we are about as ready as we're going to get. I do like... I'm happy that I got to come back and, like, upgrade... I was talking about this like in the middle of the middle of the day 70 hog. That's how well the horde was going about all the things that I wish I could have done with the base like the things that I, if I had more time like I now had uh, what I would have done with it like extending down I kind of I still wanted to a little bit I think extend it all the way to the base over there if I had have made that drop double the length of what the, the width of the doors were, I would have, but I didn't want to have like a weird open hole with the doors only covering some of it. So instead of just let it how it was, let the rest of the zombies redo their pathing. But I'm glad I got to come back and upgrade the base and remake the base into its final form the way that I wanted to, because I really like how it's turned out. It's time just to put everything away. Uh, sure, that could be the random box to put all my regular stuff in. Don't need my tools. Uh, you guys can go in there as well. I do need to keep a, um, a nail gun on me. You guys go into there. All right, it's time to load myself up, ready for the horde. Oh, man. I've already kind of got myself kind of sorted out. In fact, let's get... No, get both of you and take the suppressors out of you. That one there, that one there, and load you up with the other mods that I have waiting for you. You can have the Crippleum. You can have the um, the red dot la laser sight. 
Whatever the correct term for that is, I'm sure someone will yell at me about it because never you mention anything to do with the technical aspects of weaponry and firearms. There's a bajillion comments yelling at you for getting it mildly incorrect, although usually they're incorrect as well. Let's go like that. Let's take you guys and you. Take the Atom Junkies repair kits and some necessary repair stuff. All right. Let's find ourselves all the ammo in the world. Do I, what do I actually need? Maybe I'll just take like... I'll make sure I have like each kind of ammo on me. Definitely need to make sure I have some RPs and 762s. And that. I even know I have specs into everything. I'm going to steer away from using the M60 because this was the pistols and knives playthrough. The M60 is just there for when shit really hits the fan. So I have my red SMG loaded with armor piercing 9mm. I've got you loaded. Why do I have 600 rounds of regular 9mm? How did I do that? Because I didn't grab any of them. That's probably why, Josh. Let's grab some of you. What do I have too much? I don't really need right now. You guys. I don't really need all of those. Let's just get you sorted out like that. Keep that down the bottom. I do need to eat those periodically throughout the night. No need for learn elixir. I'm already max level. Um, I need my grenades. You guys can go just into there. Uh, no, into there, I suppose. Like that. Got plenty of ammo left over. I need to come grab some halfway through. But I need to make sure... All right, rocket launcher, you stay with me. Um, I'll take just like 80 rounds of those and the rest are going to be grenades. Because I know I can stand up here and just like do like the quick drop thing. Just like that and drop them down off the ramp down into the kill box down below. But as long as everything else is going swimmingly, you need to be rocket rags. I tried to put as many mods into you as I could. Turns out there aren't very many you can get. Do have a sweet red dot site for me though to better nail that little crevice. I think that's about everything. And that's about all I can possibly do here. That's got my repair stuff. Got the nail gun. Might repair the nail gun. Actually, everything else is locked and loaded. Repaired and ready to go. I think we're about as ready as we're going to be. Let's put the rocket launch right before I kill myself, though. Uh, yep, we're good. What do I do with the food? Let's quickly eat some steak and spuds. Let's put some water inside me. Let's get ready to say goodbye for the final time. Come to think of it, I probably don't need... <laughs> like 3,000 rounds of armor-piercing 9mm. Probably gonna get a lot of demos, but if I have to, I can come back and get some more. And with that extra kind of space there, let's grab some of you. Let's grab some honey in case I do get punched in the face. Some health bars in case I get really punched in the face. Um, Anything else in here gonna help me out? Repair kits. Then I'm gonna go through a full stack of 25, but there's more there if I need it. Uh, splints just in case. And that's about it. Let's grab you guys. If I if I get real desperate, I suppose I can use that one too. Um, no, I think that's just about everything. All right, let's take the extra spot and put some extra 9 millimeters in there. There we go. All right, 10 more minutes. All I have to do now is just sit here and wait and try not to pucker up my seat cushion. There we go. The zombies are on their way. Let's turn you on. Turn you on. And we're just going to wait... Wait until they are actually in position. I don't want to turn on the dart traps until I actually have to. Are you open, actually? You're not open. That's very silly. Doors open up, please. Yep, there we go. Then I open and ready to go. There we go. All right. Darts on. Everything's cracked a little nice. I can hear the tires upstairs doing their job. SMG, do your job too, please. I'm not worried about the very, very start of it. I'm overly worried when, like, fat cops, fat bad cops start showing up as long, uh, uh, alongside demos. Jeez, I saw those darts coming to my panic there for a second. When they start getting here, I'm in some serious trouble. But Insane Zombies Nightmare, that's a fucking demo already. Insane Zombie Nightmare Speeds and Max 64 Zombies coming at once. This is going to be a whole thing. Oh, no. Oh, no. I hit him. I hit his nip. Well, we've already cooked it. We've already banana it. I went with the M6 because it's loaded with AP. And I still just ticking his nips in all the best ways. See what I mean, though? They're not really falling in the bucket down there. They're falling just a little bit shy of it. That, oh, God, that's another one. That's another one. Let's go with the SMG. One's already gone down. No, no, come on. Come on. No, don't die. Don't go down, you sack of shit. Thank God I upgraded everything down there to steal. Because if I didn't, I think I'd be hosed by now already. God, there's so many demos. Don't know what I was expecting. There's a fucking lot of them. Another one. Come on. I need to kill at least one of them along the way. There's a demo who's now crawling. I've undone his legs so much. He's now just like sliding along. Here you go. Here's my chance. Don't hit his nips. Tammy, don't you do it. Don't you do it, you sack of thumping shit. If you tickle his nipples, I'll throw you off a goddamn cliff. There we go. Killed him. I tried to stay away from his button as much as I could. 
How are we looking? How are we looking? Anyone in the bucket down below? No, there's just one regular mob. We still got time. We still. Oh shit! We still doing okay. I just can't kill him fast enough. Oh no, that's a real big problem. If that breaks, I'm absolutely fucking shit. I'm absolutely cooked. I gotta stop tickling demos. From now on, I'm just staying away from demos entirely. I can kill all the other ones, and they're gonna kind of cruise. Oh jeez, they're gonna cruise along as much as they like. I'm going for leg shots only. I'm gonna put an end to your days of adventure by shooting at your goddamn patellas. Oh jeez, I'm scared. I'm really scared. Now that's down to reinforced concrete down there. I'm suddenly much less confident in this. My vision is just a sea of zombies and blue. Oh, that's a demo there. It's hard to see their buttons when everything's already glowing. Burning through the ammo very quickly. There's only a couple in the trench. Not enough to get to warrant firing down some explosives. Oh jeez, another one down there. I kind of want to... Do I leave my tools down here? I might need to go on a real quick mission. Not in there. Yes, there we go. All right, real quick. Let's just leave you in there for a moment because what I need to do, I need to get rid of some of those electric fences. They cause me more of an issue by stopping the demos before they actually get to a point where I can put them down into the little uh, bunker of death down the bottom. So everybody, ow, that hurt a little bit, but that's okay. I've got all the stubborn in the world. So everybody, please come with me. There we go. Oh, that's a scene. That is an absolute bloody scene. May as well stand there and fight him while I'm out here. Fight him in the fields. Oh, that's some lag. Reload faster, please. Come on, one. Come on, all. Come out to the fields of dreams. We're going to put you to sleep. The lag does get pretty intense when they start firing the SMG. Oh, there's so many. There is so bloody many of them. I have to get them far enough away, but I do have a moment or two to actually take a swing at the electric fences. That should hopefully be enough. All right, let's get around nice and quick. Should have probably popped the, um, whatchamacallit candy, not the candy, the bloody, um, what is it? I can't even remember. The bloody energy drink that gets you super bloody fast. You, get the shit out of the way. You, get the shit out of the way. That should, ow, damn it, the dart traps, I forgot about that. That should now be enough for them to at least get through and up to where they can drop down into the bottom of it. Up, over. Probably could have repaired that while I was dead or whatever. It's too late for that now. Let's get back down to my little safety bunker down here. Oh, that was risky, but hopefully it works out for me. Can you all now drop to where you need to be? There we go. There we go. It was a worthwhile investment. Now we can start murdering. This may seem like it's worse than it was before because they're getting closer to me, but it means that everything is now working to perfection. Look, they're all falling down one after the other in the little pit of death down there. Oh, there we go. They're okay, they're going down. That's what I want them to be. Throw a bunch of grenades like that. They roll off the edge. They're falling down into the bucket down below. And then, boom. There we go. That's the way to kill demolishers. Not shooting them in the face. Oh, no. It's putting them down and exploding them like they wish they could. Rather than taking me down, I'm exploding them. There's a bad cop out there. No, you bloody don't. Oh, I got him before he vomited, so I kind of staggered him a little bit. Now he's getting really bloody staggered. Need to make sure I focus on those guys, because they explode. It's just like a demo. That's going to be bad news for me. Have a look downstairs. There's a lot of them. There's some demos down there, too. Have some of those. Oh, my God. It's so bloody loud. It is so heckin' bloody loud. That is so many zombies down there. 60,000 experience out of that. There's a lot more down there who aren't dead as well. I can see them get electrified. When they die, they either stop burning or being electrocuted, whichever one they're currently under the impression of. Just keep on going. Just keep on firing. The horde doesn't stop at 4am. The horde goes until all the zombies are dead. Whether I kill them or I die first. There's a demo right front and center. It's really kind of annoying me. I'm just trying to like scalp him a little bit without actually shooting him too much. I'm scared. There we go. There goes his dogger. That's why the Pistol Pink Volume 7 book is so bloody valuable. I see you there, bud. Put you down. Put you down. I hope I'm not having a heart attack down there because if you are, it's going to be bad news bears for me. There we go. Here's another one up here. For some, I am actually generally more afraid of rad cops than I are of demos. As long as the demo goes down there, it's fine. But a cop might be having a heart attack and I won't know about it until it's too late. There's a bit of a crew down the bottom and one demolisher at least. So let's go like that before they tunnel the way out of there. There we go. All the grenades are down. Hit them all. They all go exploding everywhere. If I blow them out of the hole, that's not actually the worst thing because at least then they do kind of re-path. Nice, nice, nice. Doggos. No, thank you. That's so many bloody doggos. No demos in the crowd that I can see, so I'm free to hose. Just keep going. Just keep going. SMG loves this life. SMG loves the spray and pray life. There's another red cop down there. That's fine. As long as there's no flashing green buttons of doom, I'm fine just to keep on going. I am burning through 9mm ammo a little bit faster than I would like. Let's go. Oh, shit. No, don't you do it. I think I didn't get him in time. I didn't even shoot him at all, really, but I think I saw him too late. 
Go back to the Dolter for the moment. The recall is kicking my ass. But the Dolter has the added bonus of groupifying the zombies much easier than they would otherwise. Oh, Doggo. Jeez, you got real up and close to me. Put you down. It also penetrates as well because I have all the Magnum Enforcer books. So I can groupify a lot of them very, very early. I see it. No, bad. You stop. You stop. Bad big fat, <laughs> fat sack of shit. Oh, there's a lot down there. Real quick. Hurry up. Come on, game. Keep up with me. What's the bloody point of having a good GPU if you can't handle getting absolutely face fucked by zombies? I think they're down there. There we go. Kill them all. Is everyone dead? It's raining bloody zombies down there. I think they're mostly dead. I think for the moment I've got to like the first wave of the zombies. There's not really many demos showing up at the moment, although. Knock on wood, please don't have any more of those guys showing up. So it's looking kind of like a whole bunch. It's wave after wave of regular zombie Jeffries. That's kind of okay. We're going to leave it down in the bucket for a lot longer. Uh, the demos that are going down there, they will tunnel out of there rather quickly to make sure that I'm up to scratch. That was like a set, bloody coordinated death. What's the bloody um Corrigan uh, swimming called? Synchronized swimming. It was a synchronized death as well. Jeez, I'm forgetting the English language. Too busy murdering everybody. This is getting real out of hand. Look at the seething mass of death and destruction that's waiting for me down there. Let's go like, let's just go a lot of grenades in. Why not? I've got plenty of them. So it's like really lace that bucket with all the explosive powder that I possibly can. Wait for them all. There we go. Oof. Only 27,000 experience. Like, Sammy, you want to bonk that uh, pooch on the schnoz there, please? There you go. Thank you for finally swimming around and doing your goddamn job. Now time is under the door of the buddy party. God, Sammy's a waste of time. Probably could have got an extra one, given I expect into everything now, but too late for that. I thought one Sammy was going to be enough. Turns out, absolutely, yeah, nah, mate. I've gone back to the SMG, and I feel like it was like group of flying zombies. A little better than the, the Dolce was. The Dolce is fine. When you're rolling 64 zombies and the game's lagging this goddamn hard, it's, uh... Makes it a little bit more difficult to kind of keep up with. The frame rate is dropping ever so slightly. So I don't know, what is it, like 15 frames a second at the moment? I say ever so slightly, that's quite a lot for some people. For me, it's bearable. It's okay. The bucket down the bottom is still punching along. Oi, rude, rude. I know it's like almost three in the morning and that is prime drunken kebab time, but you don't need to tell me about it by shoving it up my nose. Rinsing everyone that I possibly can. And a lot of like red whites coming up as well. Let's just go like that. You put some more down there as well. So I'm going to figure out that like quick drop method. There we go. That's better. That's better. Let's get the bloody rocket launcher out and fire into the crowd. That's so many. Oh, wow. Speaking of so many. That is so many. This hose. Just hose. They'll get gooped. They'll get slowed. They'll get salsified. It's fine. It's fine. Just keep on going. They can reach through and pants as much as they want. You can deal with this. Sammy's got you covered. Oh, wow. How are you walking? You got one bloody leg. But you just somehow overcome your uh, predicament there. Fair props to you, lad. Still going to murder you, though. It's all pretty quiet up the top, which means it's probably... Oh, it's reasonably busy down the bottom. I wouldn't say excessively so, though. I think, I think I found a flaw in the plan. Turns out lobbing zombies into a field, uh, lobbing grenades into a field of zombies actually kind of is a bad idea. I didn't think about that. All of my planning, I didn't think about that. Oh, I was starting to get confident as well. I was like, you know what? This is going swimmingly. This is going fine. For once, I might survive the day 7,000 hall because this base is the tits. I forgot to account though. I forgot to account for one glaring issue and you probably already know what it is and that's that i'm a fucking idiot i want to know i want to know what happens to me i want to see what the carnage is like there's a vulture dead inside the elevator tower somehow i can still hear everything cut and sick outside how are we looking are we looking okay is everything still cracking along nicely that's the wrong bloody bag josh take that one instead take all my shit back all right so we have learned i <laughs> we have learned not to throw the grenades down while, um, how did he get through there, actually? While there are cops and stuff up the top, because it's gonna end badly for everybody. They're all still down the bottom. Let's quickly just go like this. Maybe instead of grenades, maybe we'll just fire rockets down instead. But I feel like that's the safer option. It's a shame I died like that. <laughs> I had to die, I suppose, somehow. <laughs> I feel a little cheated. I feel a little silly. Oh, man. Maybe that had happened in day 70, though. I'd have been absolutely spitting. Even though we died, I'm still going to finish the horde because I refuse to leave it at that. I refuse to have this base get a failing grade because I'm an idiot. 
I mean, I suppose the setting ever is good as the weakest part of the chain. And as we all expected, I am that weakest link. Put you down. Man, there's just so many cops, though. It's getting riskier and riskier to go back to that grenade method, so I'm just not going to. Please, no, 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 bad, bad. If you put a couple of rounds in them before they actually get their gauze out, then it's kind of okay. Jesus Christ, you know what? Let's just go like this. Let's open up this door real fast. Excuse me, get me through and just kind of put like one right there. I'm sick of you guys being up in my grills. One like that, one like that. Let's just use rockets for everyone. <laughs> I mean, look. Fair play to your love. If that's how you're going to go out, unless you're going out with style, let no one say you didn't have the coolest death of the Zerg. I reckon you probably bloody did. Oh, you're gone now. You're gone to the nether realms to tell all your cool friends how you flipped into the afterlife. Oh, man. That's good fun. What are we? We're almost at 5 a.m. I wonder how much more of this horde we've got left to go. I don't know how many zombies I've killed. I don't know how much I started. It was like 15,600 and something. This is probably like 15,000 again, just in this horde. Jesus. If you had, like, if you had some friends, it's, it's something I can't really speak to because I don't have any personal experience with that mythological concept of having friends. But if you did, something like this would be wonderful. You've got enough space in here to kind of wander around and do whatever defenses you need to do. And assuming none of you were dumb enough to use explosives on your feet while there's cops and stuff rolling around, because who would ever be that dumb? You could really take down any size hall without any real issues. But how are we looking... How are we looking just here? You're looking a little bit worse for wear, but that's okay. Sammy, want to punch that dog for me? A little bit better than you currently are. There you go. Let's go, actually, you know, let's take a little step back and go like that. Knock you out that way. Can you get out of the way, please? I'm trying to get down to the bucket down below. Go like that. I'm sorry the frame rate is dying. That's just kind of what happens. Like, I got a 2080 Ti until recently. That was, like, the best graphics card you could get. And it's still struggling this much. Maybe you just shouldn't play with 64 zombie horde guys because it's out of this fucking world. I just realized as well that the top darts are now expires. Let's go with the bottom ones. There we go. Maybe that's why they were starting to get... Oh, jeez. Maybe that's why they were starting to get through a little bit better than they were before because the darts have kind of run out. Let's grab some extra ammo out of you. Got a bit low on regular 9mm. Jesus Christ, look at them. All right, all right. That's all right. Everyone calm down. There you go. Cop that. Go down to the bottom, please, and cop another rocket. Oh my God, there are so many of them. It's like looking inside an anthill of death. Oh, oh, has it got quiet? It's got very quiet after that rocket. There's a couple of them downstairs. They've beaten through some of the steel, but not a whole lot of it. Are we done? I think we might be done. I think that might be all she wrote. I mean, yeah, I did die. But the base held up. Like, you can't blame the squishy thing inside the base for dying when he explodes his own face. But the base stood up perfectly. Other than a couple of demos exploding at the start because I put the electric fences too close to the entryway. If I didn't do that, geez, I really took a pounding down here. We almost lost one of the bridges. But if we didn't have that little hiccup, this place would have lasted without any sweat at all. Oh, jeez. So what's happened down here? So a couple of uh, demolishers have fallen down. So that's a potential weak spot. They're triggering the nips upstairs and they're exploding their load all the way down here and breaking out the bed. Ah! You what? What are you connected to? Um, excuse me. Do you want to not be a big bag of dicks? Because that's horse shit. Come on. I know the wires glitch out sometimes. It's bloody rude to glitch out electric fences just to spite me. I don't have any uh, any frames on me, so I quickly uh, jump back up into my bunker, grab some frames so I can get out of the pit of death, and also grab like some looting candy. Because even though this series is over, I still kind of want to see what we might have ended up with on the other side. All the ammo went to there. All that ammo went to there. Let's just put you guys away as well. Get everything out of me that I possibly can. All you guys into that one, please. God, those weapons did a good job. It did such a bloody good job. Again. I wouldn't have died if I wasn't an idiot. But some like, some things are just such a certainty that they can't be planned for. If I had it gone just a little bit differently, I wouldn't have died in that. If I wasn't throwing grenades on my nipples and then having cops vomit on me, I would have got through that unscathed. I've already got the stuff out of the top bucket. No, not the, the bloody bag, rather. Throw the cornmeal away because it's worth absolute dick all, even in the end game. Ooh, T6 steel axe. Why well, is just kind of curious what you would get out of the zombie horde? Like that horde. What's the, uh, oh, some dynamite. What's the incentive for fighting a horde like that? Drop down into the loot bucket, swim in the loot, and slide around like a Tony Hawk in a half pipe. But I feel like 
fighting hordes like that, especially in a base that you want to defend, you don't get enough back from it to justify it. That was a book I could read you. It was a uh, Sniper Volume 1, Mining Helmets. Yeah, I've, it's just like the amount of resources and stuff it takes to expend to like repair the damage that would have done, even though... Like, it's probably some steel and some conquer, I suppose. It's definitely repairable. But I just don't think it's worthwhile, you know? Why wouldn't you just go and sit at the top of Dishong and just let them destroy that building instead? Why would you let them destroy something you actually care about? Everything I found in the loot is on me. And again, not really anything worthwhile. The biggest issue there is just the thousands of rounds of ammo that I spent. Not so much like the building itself, because, you know, it's a... <laughs> not to pat myself on the back too much, but it's a pretty solid base design. I don't get anything worthwhile out of it, I don't think. So let's quickly grab my frames. Just go like to there and then to there. Even though I have like max parkour, I still need some help getting up and out of the buckets. But there you bloody go. There you go. So that base, assuming you're not an idiot like me, will get you through a max level insane nightmare. 64 zombie horde in day 7,000. You cannot get a harder horde than that. And the base took it like an absolute champion. The only adjustment I would make is I would not have the electric fences out the front here. But, you know, you learn lessons by doing. A negative result is still a result that you can learn from. That went pretty bloody well. They barely even touched. They barely, like, me myself was barely in- Ow! <laughs> I forgot about that. Was barely ever actually in danger because I never actually got through here. Yes, a couple of them slid through and Sammy wasn't really doing anything. Sammy's a worthless piece of crap, but, you know, you can't blame the AI for that one. We all, we all know that the turrets are worthless. But I think that went about as well as it possibly could. So now, like, I've already done the goodbyes and stuff to the series in day 70. I've already done all, like, the gushy stuff. But that is properly now the end of the Eclipse series. So I think there's something we need to do to say goodbye properly. So we can't come back and do any more. As always, just drop all that stuff off into the dump chest now in my ammo box. Yeah, there you go. I knew I had some. I knew I had some just lurking around. Put you guys away as well. I think I picked up another couple. Yeah, I did. 25. I'm thinking back to the, um... Oh, how did I get the damage up here? Did, like... Did a pelican come through my window and get stuck in the elevator shafts? Is that why there's a dead one down the bottom down there? I don't know. That's the only plausible explanation I can come up with. Is how else would there be damage up here? Don't know. Doesn't matter. Let's go all the way down the bottom. Because after all, like, the main base part isn't necessarily the spire. This is what I've built out the front of it. You all did a wonderful bloody job. But I have 25 dynamites on me. And I think if I remember correctly, back in, um, back in the days when I was building zombie cannons, I think 25 might be the maximum amount of, um, well, explosive you can leave on the ground. So let's just start, like... Let's just start lacing the joint. Let's just start preparing for demolition. The base is going. It's all over. Time to see to the hunkering mess on the ground. All the dynamite is still on the ground there. Still got plenty more left over. Just keeping an eye on this one because if that one disappears, then I know that I'm now not actually adding anything to the pile. I'm just taking away the ones that were previously there. Stick them all against the walls as much as we can. Make sure you've got some in here as well. Nice, nice, nice. Um... Oh, where did I put, put that rocket launch rack? It might be the best way to kind of set this off. You could just kind of stay there as well. Yep, no, nah, we're all good. Okay. Well, base, it's been a lovely time, but it is time for us to say goodbye to you. Thank you for all of your service. Thank you for the fun. Thank you for keeping me safe in a world that was nighttime all the time. Where's the rocket launcher? That one there. You should have a rocket still in you, I think. Yeah, you do. Just need the one because the doors are open. Down we go. This is, I mean, if the horde didn't destroy my PC, this is about to. <sighs> Goodbye, tower. Oh, oh, the frame rate. The frame rate, please. I can hear destruction. I can hear it going down. The tower isn't quite, oh. The tower isn't quite as destroyed as I hoped it would be. Oh, maybe it is. Maybe it is. Oh, it's coming down on me head. Take some cover. Get out and watch the show. Oh, even though it's my base, even though it was gone, even though it's over, it still hurts me a little bit to see. Oh. There goes the land claim block. It sounds really dramatic, I know. It's all coming down. It's all coming down. I normally wouldn't, but I think in this case, it's kind of justified. Let's turn debug menu on and just get like, get like a nice proper view of it. Oh, wow. <laughs> the game is clearly having some issues, but it is all slowly. Is that, is that collapsing in a spiral? Is that like, 
taking its time. That's actually wicked. There we go. Some more of it's coming down. I'm going to sit here and watch the entire bloody thing. Oh, that's kind of cool. That's kind of cool. It hurts me to see it happen. It really does. But even so, I like the show it's putting on for me to say goodbye. Looks like the last of like the rubble and stuff is now starting to fall. There's still like the like the stem of it, the trunk of it down the bottom, slowly going down. Yes, yeah, slow but surely all like the rubble at the top is going away as well. It just looks so cool. The thing, the thing I spent like two months. I spent two months living in that house. And now it's gone. It's completely kaput. There is no more. That's all there is. Like it's goddamn a French orphan. That was a weird way to say this. It's like it's Buddy Madeline. There we go. That's the last one. Go check out what's happening down the bottom though. So I think what actually happened with the dynamite, it didn't destroy the blocks itself. Yeah, no, nah. <laughs> that looks sick. I love the destruction pieces in seven days. I really bloody do. So it didn't destroy the actual blocks itself at the bottom like I thought it might. It destroyed all like, it submined, undermined the tower, destroyed the block, like the terrain blocks underneath and just took out the foundation. Goodbye base. You were lovely to me. I'll never bloody forget you. I'll probably rebuild you because, I don't know, maybe they'll try and patch out this. No, how could they patch out this though? It's not cheesing the AI. Yes, it is like playing smart and making the AI work for us, but it's not a cheese base. It's a real base. Oh, look at it. Look at it. And after all of that, all that we're left with is just a field of broken dreams and broken concrete and steel. Oh, what a time. What an absolute utter time. But that is it. That is the <laughs> rather unceremonious... Oh, there's some floating shit up there too. Unceremonious finale of Eclipse. So once again, guys, if you've watched every episode of the Eclipse series or if you've just found this one and watched it at the end, thank you so much for watching these episodes. Thank you for uh, sticking with me and seeing all the trials and tribulations we go through. But with the end of this series, it means we're about to go into something new. No sneaky deaky trailers. Nothing like that. Nothing to uh, kind of, you know, tickle your fancy of what's coming up next. But I think you guys just need to know that we're going somewhere fun. Something that's been requested of me so, so much. Even more than the stun baton challenge. That's not what it is, by the way. I'm not doing that because that would be the worst thing ever. But it's the second best, uh, second most requested thing that's ever been requested of me. So thank you guys so much for joining me on this adventure. But I'll have to come back and start a new series in the next episode because this episode is done. So thank you guys for watching. Most of all, thank you to the patrons of Patreon who made this episode possible. If you liked it, make sure you hit the like button down below and subscribe to this channel. Follow me on Twitter. If I don't talk to you there first, I'll see you in the next episode. Have a good one.